Good day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic we're going to look at multiplication tables. In this topic, we will review the multiplication table you should have seen in elementary school, understand why you should actually take the time now to memorize it, and make some observations about this table that may make it less boring. A student once complained that the midterm was too difficult. The question we were looking at required the student to calculate 0 0.7 times 0 0.5. I asked the student, what's 7 times 5? The response was rather surprising. Well, 7 is 3 plus 4, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20, so 7 times 5 is 15 plus 20 or 35. That's a great answer for grade 6. So why learn multiplication tables now? We're going to be working with systems of linear equations. You're going to see lots of examples where you're going to have to quickly calculate reasonably simple ratios as these. As we're working through the examples, you have a choice. You can either passively watch me do the examples, or you can actively participate, follow along, and anticipate future steps. Similarly, while you're doing your homework, you can either spend inordinate amounts of time using your calculator or focus on the concepts being demonstrated and not the arithmetic. Thus, take a little bit of time to memorize this. There's not that many numbers there. And don't worry about 11 and 12 times tables. They're not really that necessary. Now here's a few interesting observations you might make. Reading each line across, 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 5 is 15, and 2 times 6 is 12. Or 8 times 8 is 64, 7 times 9 is 63, and 6 times 10 is 60. Do you see a pattern? How about now? Or here's another example. So pause the video, take a few seconds, and try to determine an algebraic pattern that describes what we're seeing right now. Hopefully you're back, and all we really need to note is that this is nothing more than a difference of squares. 6 times 8 is 7 squared minus 1. 5 times 9 is 7 squared minus 4. And in general, it's a difference of squ perfect squares. So in this topic, I've tried to stress the need to memorize multiplication tables. It's going to allow you to focus on the mathematics and the concepts we're learning in the course. You're not going to have to focus on the, con on the arithmetic that is required. Here are references, acknowledgements, colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!